Hello and welcome back. This is, um, well, I got three Grimlocks here and I'm going to be comparing them. So you can see that one is in fairly good condition and the other two are, as you say, not very good. Um, we're going to be comparing Transformers G1 Grimlock, Transformers uh, Generation slash... Uh, follow Cybertron Grimlock and Animated Grimlock. So we're gonna put two of them, up, the, these two, off to the side so we can look at them individually. So we're gonna start off with uh, G1 Grimlock, and uh, as you can see, the one side of his, uh, the one side of his body is broken off. It's supposed to have the little arm. So articulation for since he's a dinosaur, you can open his mouth, open it, close it, look up and down. The little arm can move, a little squeaky, just moves full 360. Uh, leg can move. I don't think it can go full 360. Yeah, due to the um, arm, little arm being there, it has a knee. And then I guess you, if if you want to do something with the little toes, but so let's just get into the transformation for him because we got the other two to get along with. And for what it is, it looks pretty nice, even though it doesn't look like a historic, like a accurate uh, T Rex. But I like him; he's cool. So let's get into it. And none of these guys have their weapons. So let's just get into him. So what you got so what you're gonna do is flip up his head, bring out the wings, well bring out the sides, and shift all of this up. It's on this one big hinge, and then you'll close that up, and now you can see his head. And we'll come back here, split the end of the tail, and just bring them around. And now we're just going to pull on this to bring it out. And he also has the rub symbol right there. Because this, this piece will go in between these pieces right there. And now you just fold out his legs. And now his arms will go down to... And now you bring out the legs and then there's going to be a hinge right here there's a hinge right i don't know if you can see that a hinge right there and then you just bring that down so it makes him a little bit shorter but it brings his legs out so he looks a bit better so you just do the exact same thing make sure that chest hasn't come undone and now you just push in and now the fist will be exposed and thus doing that you don't have your elbow that those like knees anymore and thus makes it to where he doesn't have any elbows so his legs don't move head obviously doesn't move and still the same full 360 but um and he looks really nice i like him for uh being a uh, like oh and that's another thing is that he's got a big backpack but he doesn't have he has big feet but he doesn't have very much heel so there you can't really he doesn't have very much heel to where he can easily flop over because he's got a lot of um the dinosaur head and the wings but so there's that grimlock and since he isn't very good at standing i'll put him off the side just so he don't knock him over now we're on to the animated grimlock and the animated Grimlock, he looks, he looks very nice. He, I like that this overbite, this overbite bite jaw, this little, th this little piece of plastic right here. You, and his mouth moves. He's got light piping in his eyes. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but there's light piping in his eyes. His little T Rex arms, they just swivel in. There's no articulation to them. Um, the legs, they're on a ball joint, so they can go a full 360. They can come in and out somewhat. 
he has an uh, so, I don't know what you'd call it a joint right here to where he can move it forward move it back a little He has a swivel right here and then he has that kind of bend and then you can straighten it out um, nothing in the tail um, and with him he definitely looks like a dinosaur he, I mean a T-Rex because he's Standing up on the two legs, nothing to like balance it, balance him, and so yeah, I really like that maroon, how the maroon and the go this like gold, goldish bronze and the brown um, complement his gray, his dark gray, and he just looks mean. He looks mean, um, and you can see his head down there. But, um, he looks really nice. This dino mode. A little bit, and you can see his little nostrils. A bit, you know, you can really see the, um, development from the G1. So what, what you're going to do first is you're going to come back here to the tail. I'll hold it up. And you'll split them apart. Those the two brown pieces aren't held together, but these two black pieces are with this peg in a in this port right there. And then there are these slots, like right there's a slot right there on both sides, and then there's a peg back right there. And you'll just push them in, and those will stay there. And now you're just gonna grab with your just your fingers and then pull all that out because these little tabs will go into those holes those little slots in the in the head region and then bring all of this down I like to split his legs first and that little peg is secured into that hole now you'll bring this around and those pegs that those uh, tabs that were holding all of that together are going to go into those slots right that slot right there and do the exact same and now just bring his legs out so he looks a bit more natural spin and now we're going to split we're going to come around to the front and split this it just those slots these slots go into these holes i mean these like little pieces and now you'll bring in the little arms, hinge them in, and then hinge all of this down. I like, you could leave the, and then you shift all of this up. I don't know if you can see that, but you shift it down, shift it up. So now you, I like to do this, you don't have to, but I like to hinge it down like that, hinge it down bring it around and it will go into that cavity right there and then do that and now you can close it up so now all oh, that's there and then just straighten his arms out spin the um uh spin the hands around and uh, so yeah he has light piping on this um on his uh, regular head, you might be able to see it better. Um, and so that's his transformation. A bit more uh, updated. I really like how he transforms. I can. He. It's just really fun how the legs they just fold around onto the back of the dinosaur and then fold back down to form his regular legs. And they just look really nice. So articulation wise, he can't. He can only look from side to side, no full spin, um, ball joint in his shoulder, two hinges in the elbow, um, hinged fingers, and a hinged thumb, since um, he has those open up to form his dino claws, um, waist swivel, and for his time, that's... I think not very many figures had a waist swivel. So, he has a, a ball jointed legs. So, oh no, they're not ball jointed. There's a, uh, like an 
a pin through, not a pin, um, I, don't, I don't know what you'd call it, but his legs go back that far, forward that far, outward that far, you do get this uh, bend for transformation, uh, you get a knee swivel, no ankle tilt, but for its time, um, they, there weren't very many ankle tilts, but, so, there is animated Grimlock, and I really like him, he looks nice, he, his head sculpt looks very nice, you can now, now you can see that nice blue, that nice blue, and now you can see his gnarly, un, uh, lower jaw just like the um dinosaur so there's him he can stand a bit better so i'll um put him off the side now here I'm gonna lower the camera since he this one uh uh the war for cyber no follow cybertron not war for cybertron uh grimlock it, he he's a bit shorter in dino mode and so you can obviously tell that he does not have his uh little arms and his front toes because me personally i feel like that those are two problems that, um so the arms they were just one piece no like elbow put into them so i wish that those could have just been like a pin like pinned in or like screwed in like the originals how they're just screwed in and then that's how they're connected now we'll put him up there since um because you you're not gonna get too much out of them and they're like small they're only about like this big um so i didn't really see the point well i didn't like take them off but i wish those weren't just ball joints because now they're lost and I wished that the toe pieces on both sides of the heel and the two toes were pinned because they're just like clips. So that's why that one's missing and it just easily came off. Um, nonetheless, those are really my only gripes about this figure. I really like him. Um, he has a gnarly shield, gnarly sword. I did break the sword, the shield. Eh. Um, so let's enough of that we'll just get into the transformation so he has a bit more simpler transformation so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the um oh i almost forgot one of the coolest things his batteries have died but you can see that all this is transparent plastic his top the, all of that and oh, all of that in there there's this little lever and you can make him open and close his mouth and there's a light in there I don't know if you can see that, a light. And it would glow red and light up his mouth, light up everything. Um, definitely of all these guys, he has the best sculpt work. And I really love him. Just that pinned. I wish that was pinned. Because they could... And, um, I almost forgot about that. Because I really liked that. How it has the uh, two independent jaws and they open and close just like his. But let's just get on to the transformation. So you're going to pull the tail apart. It Mine doesn't like to go together all the way. I don't know if that's just mine. But it doesn't bother me. And they're really stiff. You really have to wiggle them wiggle be wiggle all of this because there are two big there are two pins that are well two pegs and two holes that are holding all of this together you can see that there are two fairly big fairly sized pins that go into those oct look like they look octagonal but they go into those holes and as you saw they're really strong so now you have all this apart, and now you're going to hinge all of that down, all of this back section, and they don't tab in or anything, and then you just flip out the toe, flip out the foot. Same thing, bring all of this down, 
and then flip out the foot. So, straighten it, get him to stand up, and now we're going to come over to the arms, and that little tab, there's a slot in there that I don't think, you probably can't see it, there's a slot right there where my finger's at, and that will go in there, and you just hinge all of that out, and then bring it out and up, and then that's on a ratchet to bring it down. And now you flip out the cl you br you can use that clause like a little leverage, and then close that up. Same thing. Bring that. Oh, see that just came off. Um, just clip that back on if that happens. Bring that out. Untab that. Bring it out. Spin it up, and then at uh, rotate it down and now bring out his fist close that up and now you come back here bring all of this down and then you hinge the dino head in and then that fits in that's the one thing about him is that his legs are a little fiddly as you can tell that they are just not cooperating. They just want to hinge all over the place and come apart. So, straighten his arms out. And he has a nice deep red light piping. And the reason, and I think you can act and a lot, there's like a transparent plastic insert inside his chest so you can activate the dino light the light from the dinosaur mouth and light up all of his chest to give him that glow of all the characters in the video game how they have all the glowing lines and unfortunately my the head to mine has broke and then i epoxied it on that's why his head looks very very weird um i i love i just love him for how he looks obviously there are those Oh, I almost forgot. Articulation-wise, that was on a ball joint. Broke off, because I think the ball joint broke off. Not the actual head, like the socket to the head. But he has fold through 60 in the arms. Can go out. Can swivel in and out like that. Bicep swivel. 90 degrees of bend in the elbow. No waist like him. Forward that far. Back that far. Can go all the... Go that far out, thigh swivel, knee, and there. So, and he is definitely the lightest. He is, he weighs even more than this guy, and you can see how much taller he is compared to this one. But, um, so yeah, these are three wonderful figures obviously since he's a g1 you'll be getting him for a lot more money and i need i um i just get um the reason why he's broken i got him in just a little bag at a garage sale um but overall if you can find him for a good price pick him up if you can find uh, uh, animated Grimlock for a good price, pick him up. If you can find him for a good price, pick him up. Be careful with him. Uh, mainly just uh, fix the... If your, he your head might break, I don't know because that might have just happened to my copy. Might have just been stiff, snapped off. I just don't know. I'm not going to assume. But mainly, just be ready... Um, for those claws to maybe pop off and the arms to come off. And uh, other than that, all of these guys, definitely, if you can find them for the right price, all of these guys, I don't know about him, but him and him, they go for a lot of money because Grimlock, uh, he goes for quite a bit of money, I think, since mainly because he's a G1 popular character, and I don't know what in the world is with just any animated character. They're just worth a ton of money. Um, and I just found him. I just found him in a little bag. 
from a flea market, garage sale, whatever, and I actually bought him. I can't remember for how much, but any of these guys, they're all rad, they're all gnarly, they're good figures, and if you can find them for a good price, or even if you just want to spend a ton of money on them because you just want them that bad, go ahead, pick them up because they're really nice. Um, and this is, I forgot, um, I might not have mentioned it, this is like a showdown, if I were to pick one, Obviously, these are not like the newest ones. There's a Power of the Primes, just recently. Well, recent, recently, um, uh, uh, Studio Series eighty six Grimlock, and obviously a whole lot more. That I uh, there was the R.I.D. Grimlock, which is completely different to all these guys, but want to classify them. There's Energon Grimlock. There's a ton of Grimlocks out there. These are just the three that I had. So if I were to pick one. I think as cool, as nostalgic as he is, he's a nice car he's a nice figure. He's really detailed and I really love the game that he's in. I really like this figure because of his transformation and he looks fairly good and I like the show that he's in. I think I got to give it to Animated Grimlock because he's got a lot of articulation, he's got a lot of stuff in him. He's got a fun transformation. He's in a really cool show. Besides that point, he's got a fun transformation. He looks good in both modes. So I just got to give it to him, even though I love these two very much. They're really nice figures, but I would put him a lot. I would put him higher. If I were to buy any of these guys, I would definitely buy him first. So that is my uh, look and opinion of... Transformers G1, follow Cybertron slash Generations, and Animated Grimlocks, and I'll see you later.